Welcome to the main event. This is going to be a best of one set match between Baby Rafa and Filipino Dimitrov. This highly anticipated match is brought to you by Guts Pose, where you can find quality, fun tennis apparel to rep your passion. And before the players get started, let's have a closer look at both of their stats. Let's take a look at their strengths. First of all, his cockroach-like speed is second to none, which makes him hard to finish, giving him three solid fires. Second, his volleys. He's got pretty good hands, and as so, he will demonstrate here. A very conservative two and a half fires. And lastly, his lucky shots. They're like no other. He must hit maybe 10 net cords in his favor a match. A skill that took years to master, no doubt, giving him a whopping four big fires. Totaling out to nine and a half fires, making him one tough contender to go up against. A very formidable opponent to say the least. So with this one, first off, he's a lefty, like Nadal, so he will have the same advantages, especially versus a one-hander righty like Filipino Dimitrov. And Baby Rafa knows that and will certainly go full throttle with this game plan. Solid three and a half fires for that. Now don't judge a book by its cover, he makes advantage of his shorter height. By mastering taking balls on the rise, he has perfected the art of not letting balls bounce over his head. Thus, his timing has gotten quite good and has learned how to play more aggressively, giving him a very worthy four fires. And lastly, but probably most important, he looks very similar to Rafa Nadal, hence being coined Baby Rafa. He even practices Rafa's signature routines giving him a intimidating or confusing advantage over his opponents. Four wildfires. Actually, who's he trying to fool? With a baby face like that, he's more likely to barely intimidate a fluffy puppy at best. So his revised rating is a timid two tamed fires but still giving him a total of nine and a half fires, which is still very respectable. So sit tight guys, this is a match you're not gonna wanna miss. Yeah. 
Vamos, baby Rafa! <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys enjoy that one. It was a pretty good, pretty close set. Uh, baby Rafa pulled it off. Uh, I think they both did well. Yeah, but Baby Rafa definitely deserves a win. He played a little bit more aggressive, yet stayed uh, composed and, and calm um, and not rushed, over rushed. But uh, so anyway, I wanted to leave this video as is. But for the next video, I'd actually like to do a match analysis of this. Uh, not only from my perspective, an outsider, but from a player's point of view too. So that way you guys get... Um, you know, all the different aspects, uh, the different dynamics that actually goes on inside the match. And I think that's really important um, from a strategic point of view, uh, the mental focus area and also the emotional control, you know, the three areas that that are uh, vital to match play. So anyway, stay tuned on that one. I think the guys enjoyed um, playing this match. I want to say thank you to the players. Um, to all the ball boys, the all cameraman, uh, the linesman, everybody involved. <laughs> but uh, again, uh, hopefully enjoy this one and stay tuned for the next video. What's that? It's like everywhere. It's like good, it's good match so far, guys. Exhausting, bro. Exhausting. I don't get the grind. For this. <laughs> Might get a boba after. Man, you always get play boba, bro. You never got me one. That's because you never win. <laughs> if you win, you get one tonight. If you win, you get one tonight. I only got like two for him. You got like six, ten, bro. Okay, a winner gets Boba tonight. Rafa, 5 4, serving for the match. My po post match uh, interview with baby Rafa. Um, six, when I was four. leading 4 15 5 3. I kind of got stuck and I just, you know, missed a point. I hit a dicky shot. It's alright though. So, you kind of hesitated on yeah. a couple of shots? I don't know clutch. why. But... Alright, maybe uh, when you're up, you gotta yeah. play the way you're playing. You know, yeah. I think you're doing well and maybe trying to get to the finish line, tighten up a little bit. I, I saw that, that was but it was close. Dimitrov came up with a couple of good uh, shots. He came up with some drop shots, brought you in a little bit. <laughs> came up with that pass. It's nice. So, Dimitrov, what do you think of the match? What you did good? Maybe what you didn't do so well? Uh, I need to stop the switching rackets. 